Over the course of time, our planet has endured five mass extinction events and seen countless species come and go. In the past, they had always been caused by drastic environmental changes or catastrophic natural disasters. The present has a much different reality. In this video, we'll be taking a look at three animals that have been driven to the brink of extinction by humans. Number three is the Baiji. This is the first ever dolphin species to have become extinct because of humans. The Baiji was a freshwater dolphin native to the Yangtze River system in China. Despite being regarded as a symbol of peace and prosperity by local people, not nearly enough was done to save them. In the 1950s, their population was an estimated 6,000. In the following decades, it declined rapidly. Caused by excessive fishing and transportation, habitat loss, pollution, noise pollution, and hydroelectric dams. Severe amounts of environmental danger and stress caused this species to go extinct much earlier than it should have. With 12% of the world's population, or 800 million people, living or working along the river, their extinction was inevitable. Their population plummeted from an estimated 400 in 1980 to just 13 within the next 10 years. A conservation plan was introduced in 2001, although it was already too late. The last known living Baiji passed away in 2002. A six-week search expedition began in 2006 to locate any remaining Baiji in the Yangtze River. Not a single Baiji was found, which led to the species being classified as functionally extinct. Unfortunately, since we haven't seen one in two decades, we can only hope that they're still out there. Number two is the northern white rhinoceros. They were formerly found south of the Sahara in East and Central African countries. Despite efforts to protect, breed, and revitalize this rhino, their population currently stands at only two. Since both of these rhinos are females, they are classified as functionally extinct. There is a very small possibility that there could be more of this species in the wild, although there haven't been any discoveries in over a decade. In 1984, there were only 15 left when Fraser and Kess Smith started the Garamba Project. Within 11 years, their population doubled. In 1995, the International Rhino Foundation became much more involved in the conservation of the subspecies, and even contributed millions of dollars to help save them. Unfortunately, in the following years, Garamba National Park in the Democratic Republic of Congo had turned into a major conflict zone. Militia and rebel groups repeatedly poached rhinos and elephants within the park. Rhino horns have been sold for up to $50,000 per pound. In 2005, the situation had actually become too dangerous for the staff to continue working at the park. Three years later, some of the best rhino trackers in the world could not find any rhinos within the park. The ones that remained in captivity were unable to reproduce. The last living male passed away in 2018. The only remaining possibility for this subspecies is artificial insemination. As of this year, there are 14 eggs in total that have been fertilized. The remaining two female rhinos will not be able to carry the embryos as there have been complications with them in the past. Instead, they will be placed into a surrogate, which will most likely be a southern white rhino. For now, the northern white rhino remains functionally extinct, but there is still hope for their future as scientists work on a solution to possibly restore the subspecies. Number one is the Pinta giant tortoise. Native to the island Pinta in the Galapagos Islands, the subspecies of the Galapagos tortoise became extinct in 2012. Several other subspecies are currently endangered. The decline of the species was due to overexploitation by whalers and fishermen throughout the 17, 18, and 1900s. The Pinta Island tortoise was thought to have been extinct until a male was found on the island in 1971. His name was Lonesome George. Efforts were made to mate him with the most closely related subspecies. For a while, the future was hopeful. Lonesome George mated multiple times, which resulted in three different batches of eggs. Unfortunately, all 24 of the eggs became inviolable during the incubation process. In 2012, Lonesome George died of natural causes at an estimated age of about 100 years old. Though he may be gone, his memory continues to serve as a strong symbol for conservation efforts. Researchers have continued to look for any remaining members of the species. While they haven't found any Pinta Island tortoises, they have found hybrids that are partially descendants of the subspecies. These discoveries have given researchers hope that there could be a member of the species that is still alive. 
Maybe Lonesome George wasn't so lonely after all. Unfortunately, for the foreseeable future, the Pinta Island tortoise remains extinct. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more of this content, please be sure to like and subscribe. A new video will be coming out every Saturday and soon we'll transition to two videos per week. Thank you to all of our new subscribers and thanks to all of you for watching.